Cancer, welcome to your May reading. This is for collective uh, Cancerians. I hope you're well. My name is Shamla Khan and I'm a spiritual teacher and intuitive therapist. I use the cards as a way to get in touch with our inner psyche. And so uh, based on the collective consciousness of all Cancerians and those who are you know, drawn to my readings, this is for you. So let's see what is coming up for you in the month of May. We have here Three of Cups, right? Three of Cups is about collaboration, connection. Three of Cups is about friendship. So month of May, you might be busy socializing, networking. Um, I feel also it's about making new friends, making new connections and deepening the existing ones as well. Okay. And we have Seven of Wands. Right, Seven of Wands. Um, I feel this is about, uh, this is an interesting one, the energy here. Um, this is, Seven of Wands is about conviction. Seven of Wands is about being true. True to yourself, true to others. And I feel this has a lot to do with how real and how true are you to your network? How true are you to your your social circle how authentic are you and are you authentic enough in your connection that you are making um having stronger bonds or uh, creating a better future not just for yourself but you know with the network with the people so this could be like friends could be business associates it could also be family Right, so there is a there is a pool or there's a call for you to act on that, to be much more committed to your authenticity. Are you showing up that way? Okay. Are you are you just scratching the surface or are you going deeper? This is quite key to quite key to your growth, I feel, for some reason, for month of May and then moving forward. And then we have the hangman. Ooh. You are going to have a different perspective. I feel like once you act on your authenticity, right? How authentic are you in showing up, in being real um, with your social network, with your friends, with family? How honest are you? You will have a hangman moment, which means there are certain realizations that can be a wake-up call. Either a wake-up call or a, a, a very nice, nice, a shift in perspective that gives you an aha moment where you go like, oh, I never thought of it this way. Or, I've never seen it this way before. And it helps to open your heart. Right? There's a heart opening experience here, I have to say. Okay, that's the energy I'm picking up. A heart opening experience that's very healthy for you, can Cancerian. All right? And then that you will question some of the things that has happened in your life. The Seven of Cups is about are you seeing things as opportunities or are you seeing things as an illusion, right? So I feel like month of May is rather special for you where you may be contemplating a lot, where you may be questioning your authenticity, where you may be opening your heart and seeing things differently from a different perspective and wondering whether what you thought in terms of your friendship circle, in, in, in terms of your connection and your network, what you thought was true. Is it really true? What you thought was, was um, opportunity, really an illusion. Uh, what you thought was an illusion is actually real. So you might want to, in the month of May, get in touch with people in your life who are truly your authentic um, like friends who have been with you, but maybe you never saw it and you have a change in perspective about this and realize that, oh, this, these friends really care for me, you know, that they are, they are, they are real, <clears throat> right? Very interesting. So this month of May is almost like a heart changing kind of energy and for you, and I wonder, is it because uh, your your season is coming well, right? I mean, not so soon, maybe in the next two months or so. But 
you know, usually leading up to our birthday season, we do have some changes happening in our lives. So, so this could be one of the things, right? Let's see one more. Four of Pentacles. You will reach a point of stability within yourself. That stability is more about being clear about, you know, who stands for what and who what you stand for. And I feel also you're getting clear on what you are feeling within you emotionally and, and where you stand in your friendship circles. Having a realization. And <clears throat> Four of Pentacles, you know, tells us that you are reaching that point of stability, uh, almost like growing up, right? Growing up emotionally in the month of May. Okay, so we're going to pick two more for Cancer. And we have here Seven of Swords. Yeah. So Seven of Swords tells us, based on the reading so far energetically, some of, I had a feeling this would come up because that was one of the messages that I got, but I didn't want to say it until, you know, well, this came up eventually. Um, basically, okay, I'm going to, this is almost like a call out on you, right? Um, this is almost like there are certain things that you have not been truthful with yourself and with others. And it's time to clear the air. It's time to <clears throat> stop or rather be more honest, you know, stop uh, lying to yourself. Maybe lie, lie would be a strong word. Maybe lie would not be the, the word to use. It's more like refusing to see the truth, <laughs> right? Seems to be more like it, okay? That's the energy, okay? And and that you are with that hangman moment, right? You're realizing that, okay, it's, it's really time that I, that I see the truth for what it is, okay? Powerful move. I feel it is, yeah, it's a powerful move for you. One more, five of wands. So you may need to face certain conflicts that will come up in the process of your, uh, you know, taking the time to be much more authentic, to be much more truthful. And it could be inner or outer conflict. And if an outer conflict arises, right, a conflict with a loved one, a friend, because you decided that you're going to be much more authentic, then you need to let it play out. Okay, letting it play out would be one of the, and, and, and not be afraid of it. Letting it play out, but don't add fuel to fire. <laughs> Let it play out, see the other person's response, see what you can do to apologize, to, to right the wrongs. And this is about emotional maturity, Cancer quite a powerful one I have to say okay now let's see I'm going to use another deck let's see whether there are other messages that Cancerians need to know other than what we have shared about emotional growing up any other aspects chariot so things will move fast for you in the month of May oops <laughs> uh, for some reason I'm picking up on this. Some of you getting a new car. That's very specific, right? To some of you. King of Swords. So this is about honesty. King of Swords is about upholding integrity and morality. Being truthful, honest. So that is in alignment. That's confirmation with the earlier message. And then Nine of Swords. Addressing some of the anxiety and worry that you might have. Um... But I feel you'll be okay, you know, the worry and anxiety, that those will go away if you let things play out. And also, if you need help, you should speak to someone you trust who is an uphold, who is a truth teller, who is an upholder of integrity and morality. This person can guide you, right? Someone in your life, it could be your religious leader, it could be a head of a family, it could be a friend, it could be a therapist, someone that you no upholds morality and truth. Uh, they can guide you in this interesting time. Any time of our lives where we feel like we are emotionally growing up or there's a push for us to grow up emotionally, it can be very challenging because we have a resistance, right? We resist 
being called out. We resist growing up. We, you know, that 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 small part of us that's still very childish wants to point our finger at someone else and blame them, and we don't take responsibility, right? But this is an opportunity for you, right, to grow up. Cancer, I like this for you. Powerful. Let's see uh, from the Oracle. If the message resonates with you so far, give me a like, subscribe to my channel. Appreciate the energy exchange. And if you want a personalized reading, you can also book a session. Details are below this video. Let's We have here gratitude. Be grateful for all that you have and all that is about to unfold in the month of May. And Oracle... Very oracle for cancer. Let's see. Self-reliance is one. I feel like there's a need for one more. I feel this is only for some of you, not all of you. Not very collective kind of energy. I don't know why I picked this. I have this one up. But this will be a powerful message for some of you. Okay. One more. Happily ever after. So it's going to be very positive. You're going to have a positive outcome. By the end of May, things will, will feel a lot better, feel a lot lighter, okay? So I hope served you well. I will see you again. Bye for now.